Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write python program to check whether the entered number is a prime number so guys a positive integer greater than 1 which has no other factors except 1 and the number itself is called a prime number so let's say for example we have the number 2 which is a prime number and it is greater than 1 so the number 1 is not a prime number but it starts from the number 2 and then the next number that is 3 is again a prime number because there is no other number which divides the number 3 itself except the number that is 1 apart from that we have the number 5 which is again a prime number the next number is 7 which is again a prime number so all these are the list of prime numbers as they do not have any factors now if we check for example let's say the number 6 it is not a prime number it is a composite number that's because a number 6 can be obtained by multiplying the number 2 by 3 and in such a case this number that is this result is not a prime number so guys let us check when the user enters any particular number whether it is a prime number or not let us write the python program for this so guys over here in the vs code what we will do is the very first thing is we are supposed to provide the variable that is number which will be taken by the user as the input so over here we provide the input function and then we will say enter the number as the instruction to the user in order to check whether the entered number is a prime number since this input function takes the input as the string data type we have to convert it into the integer so over here we have to provide the prefix that is int function over here that will help us in order to convert the string data to the integer now guys what will be the logic in order to find whether this number that is entered by the user is the prime number so basically we are going to start from the number 2 and we are going to divide this number by 2 in order to check whether the remainder is 0 if the remainder is 0 that means a number is divisible by 2 and it is not a prime number and if the remainder is not 0 then we have to move to the next number that is 3 and then again we have to check whether number divided by 3 is giving us 0 as the remainder and so on we have to check up to we reach this number in order to check whether the number is prime or not so guys over here we will have the flag variable which will be false initially which means that the number is not a prime number right now so we set it as false and then what we will do is inside the for loop we will be dividing the number in order to check whether the remainder is zero so we will say for i and then in and then we will say range and this range it will go from 2 up to that number so over here we will say number in this case and then guys inside this what we have to do is we have to check whether this number percent i is zero or not so we say if condition followed by number and then we have percent and then i whether it is equal to 0 and if it is 0 then we have to set the flag as true over here so that we can say that it is not a prime number so guys when the flag value is false then it is a prime number and when the flag value is true then it is not a prime number so over here once we find that the flag is true what we have to do is we have to break that means we have to come out of this for loop so once we have found that a number is not a prime number there is no point of checking the remaining i value whether it is dividing this particular number in order to check whether the remainder is zero or not so that is the reason we have to come out of the for loop over here so outside this for loop what we have to do is we have to check whether this flag value it is true or false so if the flag value is true then we have to say that entered number is not a prime number so we simply have to print this statement so we say print and then we say entered number that is we will replace these curly braces with the number over here and then we will say is not a prime number so guys after this string we have to use the dot format function and provide that variable name that is entered by the user that is number so that these curly braces are replaced by this particular variable that is number over here and if the flag is false which means the number that is entered by the user is a prime number so again we have to provide the print statement but this time it will be a prime number so over here what we will do is we will simply copy this print statement and we will say else in this case and then entered number is a prime number in this case so guys in this else part over here we have said entered number that is the number is a prime number so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see user is being asked to enter the number so let's say we provide the number 5 as the input and when we press enter as you can see entered number 5 is a prime number that's because there is no other number that is dividing 5 apart from this number itself that is 5 and 1 let us run this code once again and this time we will check whether the number 6 is a prime number or not so when we provide 6 
so as you can see entered number 6 is not a prime number that's because 2 multiplied by 3 will give us 6 and that is the reason why it is not a prime number so guys this is the way that we can easily find whether the provided number that is entered by the user is a prime number or not now guys apart from this this is not a very optimized code what we are doing is we are checking whether the numbers that is starting from 2 is it dividing the entered number or not so let's say if the number that is entered by the user is 99 we can optimize this code in such a way that we can ignore the number such as after 2 we can ignore the number 4 then we have 6 and then we have 8 which are all even numbers which are again divisible by 2 for which we have already checked whether this number is divisible by 2 or not and apart from that once we reach the halfway that is let's say for the number 50 if we reach 25 as the value of i we can come out of the for loop since after the number 25 it is impossible to multiply because after the number 25 there will be no other number which will be the factor of that number which is entered by the user which is 50. So guys such optimizations can be also done from your side once you are implementing the python program in order to find whether the entered number is a prime number. So guys I'll leave up to you as a homework for you but this is a very simple program in order to find whether the entered number is a prime number or not. So please make sure that you practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs. Make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is Python program to find the factorial of a number using a for loop. So stay tuned.